Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Cancer Rainbow LGBTQ plus love prediction reading for August 21st through August 27th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my emotional, kind, fun, loving, sweet cancers. Show me what's going on with my nurturing cancer spirit, guys. Show me, spirit, guys, what's going on. Let's see. Let's see, cancers, what you got going on. Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, The Hanged Man, and the Eight of Swords. Cancer, whoever she is, whoever this person is that's in your love space, huh, she's nothing but issues. When I say issues, she's got issues. That ten of wands means she's a burden to you. Um, it's always something. It's always something with her. She is a burden. And when I say a burden, it's not that um, she, she just got issues. Issues on issues on issues on issues. You get one problem taken care of, and guess what? There's another problem. This person um, is a burden to you. This Ten of Wands leading your reading lets me know that this person is always has something. And I think she has issues, and I know she has issues. There's issues here. Um, and her issues and your issues combined is making this a very difficult relationship. Um, I see the Ten of Wands, like I said, that's leading your reading, and that's all about having burdens and issues. And I, and I think... Here's the eight of pentacles here is, is that it's work. This is, you're putting in dedicated work to be with her. You want to be with her, but every time you think you're past something with her, it's um, another issue that comes up. It may be an issue of jealousy. Um, she may be very possessive of you. Um, uh, whatever this is, um, there is issues here. Um, four of cups is in the middle of your reading. That four of cups means that you're holding back. You're holding back for some. I mean, you're just holding back because you're not quite sure where, where where this relationship is going. You love this person very much. You do, but the problem is you can't get past the issues to get to the full love. What the relationship can truly be, you can't get past it because there's so many issues. I mean, there. Um, she may think that she's just not good at self-esteem issues. There's just issue after issue after issue after issue. It's a lot of work. You're putting a dedicated work, though, because you do love this person. But however, what I see is that you're pulling back. With that Four of Cups, that lets me know that you're pulling back. You're not giving her your total love. You're being selfish right now because you're not. You're afraid um, of what's going to happen next. Here's this hangman here. And the hangman means you're just stuck in this pocket with her. You're stuck. It's like a round and round and round. You're not moving forward. You're not going backwards. You're just trying, you're, you're unhappy, and you're trying to figure out what do you do next. You're just sitting there in this pocket with her of uncertainty, of not being happy with her, not being happy with this relationship. But yet and still, I see the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords means that you feel trapped. The Hangman and the Eight of Swords is a, a very good indicator of you feeling trapped. I do not know why you feel trapped, but for some reason, with this Eight of Swords means you could walk away at any time, but you're not. You are trapped in a relationship. I think you're trapped in your own thoughts and your own mindset. Um, I think she just uh, she um, she's good with working on people's mentalities. She's look good at working on people's mental space, and she's worked on your mental space. She's making you feel like it's your fault. She's good at gaslighting. She's making you feel like all of this mess that she's got going on is your fault, but it's not your fault, Cancer. It's not your fault. 
she is gaslighting you. Every time you tell her about certain things, she's like, oh, no, that's you. You're just thinking it up in your head. So she's good at that mental exercise. She's good at mental abuse. So if this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading because I want to see what additional information the spirit guys may want to tell us about this relationship. Why is the Ten of Wands? Sit back and relax and just let me know. Um, excuse me, sit back and relax. I want to see what the spirit guys are going to let us know about this relationship. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Show me. It's not all in your head. She's gaslighting you, though. It's not all in your head. You know, good and doggone well, this stuff is not all in your head. What she's doing is not all in your head. I'm, I, I'm, let me see. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I have the Empress. Oh. Oh. I, that's why you're trapped. That's why you're trapped. She's got all these issues, but she all, you also have children with her. I do. I, I believe that you have a child with her. That's why you feel trapped. I think you have a child with this woman, and, and that is why you feel trapped. <sighs> She's definitely got your mental. You love your child. You're nurturing. That's a cancer. Very, you're very nurturing. And that's how she's got you trapped. I think you are the one that may have carried a child for her. I, I'm not quite sure. But let's see. Show me why is the Eight of Pentacles here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, temperance. Temperance can represent a Sagittarius sun sign. But the temperance card of this Eight of Pentacles means you just want harmony. You just tired of all of the mess. Because that's, when I say mess, this has been nothing but mess. You just want harmony. You want, you want to be close again with her. You want the harmony with her. You don't want all these burdens. You don't want all these issues. You don't want every issue one after another to keep coming up. You just want harmony. So let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Four of Cups here? Oh, Queen of Cups. That's you, Cancer. You have been her. You have been there for her. You have been there for her, but you're pulling back now. You've been a Queen of Cups to this woman. And the Queen of Cups is has, I mean, your heart space. The Queen of Cups, you cannot. I can't say enough about a Queen of Cups person because she's kind. She's generous. She's unselfish. But now you're being selfish and holding back. But she's unselfish. She she loves from her heart. She gives, 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 and sometimes she gets walked on because she gives so much. Um, Queen of Cups is just a very good, good person. You've been a very good person to this this um, tyrant, to who? <laughs> excuse me, I shouldn't say that, but to this person that's very. I think she. I feel her. I see her being mean. She's a gaslighter and she's mean. But anyway, you've been kind to her and good to her, but you're pulling back now. No matter what she wanted, you were there, you, you gave to her, you cooked, you cleaned, you did whatever was necessary. So let's see why this hanged man is here. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the hanged man here for my cancers? Show me. Knight of Swords. Uh-oh. This is a Knight of Swords. You need courage. You need bravery. You need to figure out how to make, make your next moves. And it's over this hanged man. You're going to get your courage and your bravery. It's over the hangman. Um, the hangman, like I said, means that you're to you're unhappy and you're trying to figure out what the next moves are. But you're going to have the courage and the bravery to make the next step. Because right now you're just stuck in this pocket. You're, you're aware of what's going on. You see how you know how she treats you. You know there's going to always be issues. She will never change. Whatever issue you overcome with her, there will always be something else. Because for some reason, she has she has you on mental lockdown. She's, she's a gaslighter. She has you mentally messed up. She's a mental abuser. So let's see why the Eight of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. But you've got to have the courage. And you know that. That's why that hangman is there. You're just stuck in the pocket with her. But you know you've got to move. You've got to do something. Show me why this Eight of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is typically a younger person. I do believe it's you that's young. I'm going to say that. I do. I really do. I think that you looked up to her. I think that she um, she knows this. She knows that you're younger than her. She knows that you look up to her. You know you. Th she thinks that you're. You, she knows that you think that. Um, 
she's her your her that she is all that to you. She knows those things. That's why she's able to play these mental games with you. That's why she's able to gaslight you. She's very well aware of that. And she knows that you're not walking away because she knows she has your mental swords. That eight of swords. She knows that you feel trapped. She knows that you um that she has you mentally. Mental is is deeper than anything else. She it's, it's deeper than physical. Because you take mental with you wherever you go. And she knows that you are trapped and stuck. And I do believe that, and I'm going to say it again, that you have her child. She also knows that you, you have, you have a good, she has a good time with you. There's a lot that's going on in this relationship. It's complicated. It's complicated. Let's start at the beginning with the Ten of Wands. This is someone that's burden after burden after burden. No matter what you do, no matter how much you do, there's always going to be another burden. There's always going to be something else. And then I see the Ten of Wands, and then I, of the Ten of Wands, I see the Empress. The Empress. Now, I'm going to say I think someone has held a baby for someone. I think this, you either have a child with this person or something. And I do believe it may be you that held the child. It may be you that um, birthed the child. But I think you have a child with this person, and that's what's keeping you stuck here, too. Eight of Pentacles, it's a lot of work to be with this person, though. It's a lot of work. And there's that temperance card that's up there. And that temperance card just saying, I just want peace. I just want harmony. The temperance card can represent a Sagittarius sun sign. But that's all you're saying. I just want peace. I want harmony. Now, here's the Four of Cups. And it's in the middle of your reading, which is very, very important to me. The Four of Cups means you're pulling back on your love. You've given everything, but you've not given your total heart again. Because you're pulling back because you know this relationship is not working out. Here's the Queen of Cups. You've been the Queen of Cups for her. You've been her ride or die. You've been there. Whatever she needed, whatever she wanted, whether it was from making love to cooking to cleaning to, you know, doing whatever you needed to do, you were there. But you were generous to a fault. You were kind to a fault because she has walked. She's taking advantage of that. She's gaslighting you. She's taking advantage of that. Whatever you talk to her about, she turns it and puts it on you. The hangman is here. And the hangman is all about being unhappy. But not knowing whether to move forward or to move backwards. You're just, you're just unhappy with this situation. And the Knight of Swords is here because you're trying to find out what is my next move. What is my next move? What do I do? You, know, you need courage, bravery to make the move to move away from this person. She, is, she has your mental game on lock though. She's very mentally abusive and she's got you on lock. Eight of Swords is here means you're trapped in it at any time you could leave. But she knows she's got you mentally because here you are the Page of Cups. And I do believe this is you. You're younger than her. And you love her. You have a good time with her. You look up to her. She knows that. That's why you're trapped and you feel like you can't leave. In addition, I do believe you guys have a child together. Here, let me see what my oracles have to say to you. Let's see what the oracles have to say. Let's see. What do the oracles say? Let's see. Well... The oracles 